Hi, it's nice to be back on our Sunday musings. I've really missed them. It's been about a month since we last did one and frankly, I'm, <laughs> I'm pleased to be back. There will be some extra content coming out at the weekends over the next month or so. That's because when we were at CES, we did film some things that don't really fit into our normal daily content. So we'll be maybe pushing these out at the weekends. I might do maybe some of them as Transport Evolved Take Two. We'll have to wait and see. So keep your eye on the feed for this channel because there might be some extra goodies on the way. But today I want to talk to you about something that kind of struck me when I was driving this long distance trip to, to Las Vegas and back from Portland, Oregon. And it was this. I felt at no point on the drive like I had range anxiety at any point, really. I think we joked about it once on Twitter, but in all honesty, we didn't really feel range anxiety. And that was because our car was managing more than 200 miles on a charge depending on how you drive it, obviously. At the moment, I'm averaging like two point something miles per kilowatt hour here in Portland because I'm zipping backwards and forwards to work and it's lots of start start traffic and I've got the heater on and everything else. But when we were on the road and we were traveling at a constant speed, we were averaging anything from 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour to I think at 1.4.7, 4.6, 4.7 4 miles per kilowatt hour. And the battery in the car was just at the point where where range wasn't an issue anymore. And it made me think, you know, at what point does an electric car experience cease being about range anxiety and start to become where do I need to stop next to pee? Where do I need to stop next to get a drink or get food? Now, for us, I think on that trip, because we talked to I've talked to Erin about it, I talked to Kate about it. We all seem to think that, you know, we were we were comfortable with the stops because we'd drive for three hours and then stop. That was what it was averaging out to be. Not always, not certainly not on the way down. But coming back, it was like you'd drive for three hours and you'd stop. You'd drive for three hours and then you'd stop. And sometimes, yeah, it, there was a couple of occasions where we got, oh, we've got to charge, bother, and sit around waiting. But for the most part, the waiting wasn't an issue. For the most part, you know, we stopped and had food. And by the time we'd eaten food, our car was nearly ready for us anyway. And by the time you walk back to the car and go into the bathroom or whatever, the car's ready to go on. So I want to know from you all, at what point does range anxiety cease to be an issue? Is it 100 miles, 150 miles, 300 miles, 600 miles? And because this is a subjective thing, everybody's going to have a different opinion. I just kind of want to build an, uh, an idea of what different people feel about this. For us, I think it was the ability to do 200 miles on a charge and have, you know, 20 in the tank was comfortable for us. We didn't get range anxiety. So traveling 200 miles, if you're averaging that out, even if you're doing... 70 miles an hour, which we weren't. I mean, it was like three and a bit hours. We were doing three and a bit or four hour legs. That was more than enough for us. And we didn't get range anxiety because we needed to stop for other reasons. In the leaf, I know in our leaf, our 2013 leaf with battery degradation, 60 miles is about all we can comfortably do in the car. And we get range anxiety, not because we don't trust the charging networks, but because you're like, oh, I'm going to run out soon. Ooh, and I'm wondering if the reason that, that we can do 200 miles in the Bolt and not feel like we've got range anxiety is because we've been driving electric cars for like 11 years now, 12 years, in fact. Um, but I want to know what you think. I think 200 seems to be that point. Maybe 180, 200 miles seems to be that point in which range anxiety is not an issue anymore. You can generally drive the car as you want it and still get to where you're going. And as long as you're used to your driving style, it doesn't become an issue. So tell me, tell me in the comments below, because the other reason is that we met a Tesla Model 3 owner at a charging station who had like the worst range anxiety. In fact, we met three Tesla owners 
at charging stations who had major range anxiety, either because they didn't want to go to a supercharger station, they didn't think they were going to get to the supercharger station, or they had driven the, the car in a way that meant that they were then suffering range anxiety or they were new to the car. So I don't think it's something that, you know, you can say, oh, well, I've got a Tesla, so I don't get range anxiety, because I think I've, <laughs> I've met plenty of Tesla drivers who do. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for dealing with my ramble today. It felt a little incoherent. I do apologise. I'm still a little bit tired from Las Vegas. You know, we got back at 3am on Monday morning and I worked Monday, Tuesday and summer Wednesday. I had Thursday off and then I've worked today. So Friday when I'm filming this. So my brain's a little bit, you know, mushy and it's nearly seven o'clock in the evening. So thanks for watching. I will see you next weekend. As always, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and don't forget, keep evolving.